So here's a quick little video about I need to replace the spring for the drive belt on this riding mower. And even though it's just a little riding mower, I decided I was going to lift it up like this to get underneath it instead of tipping it over on its side because that wouldn't be good for the oil and the gas and the carburetor and all that stuff. So, you know, I have this shop crane here and it works perfect for getting underneath these riding mowers like this, even though it's only a spring. It's it's a little difficult to get to up there, so you know that this is a, a great option to work on it like this. And at the end of this video, you know it's going to be operational. We're going to take it for a little test drive around the parking area here and, and get it back to the owner because they really just needed this spring to get replaced. And you know you can't really tell what you're doing until you actually get underneath it. Just bending underneath to look at it, you can't tell. You have to get under it like this, and I have a light there and everything. So I finally got the spring on there and now I'm ready to put it down and you might be able to hear it on the video. You can definitely see the trees. But there's some, some weather patterns that are starting to move in. It's been very windy and it's about to start raining soon. So gotta get my tools put away here. So now before I start this up, you know, being a mechanic. I'm going to make sure I check the oil, and it, it seemed to be a little bit low, so I added some. And I kind of look around, I'm pulling out the choke right there, and I'm, I looked around, I couldn't find any throttle control. I believe this is made to run at one speed, at, at regular operating speed on the engine. And then you control how fast you move with the foot pedal, because it's got a variable speed setup for the transmission and the transmission forward and reverse and uh, the more you push on the pedal the faster it goes so it's like an automatic so it ends up being a little bit low in oil so I go in and get some oil for it just to be on the safe side I decided that this time here, I was going to be good enough not to use a funnel. And I only spilled a couple drops, so it worked out pretty well. But like I said, due to the weather coming in, I, I wanted to get this done so I could get back in the house. And this has a pull start. The electric start is not hooked up. And, uh, you know, luckily it starts on the first pull. This little machine runs really nice. Little check of the camera there to make sure it's in the frame. And we're off and riding. Reverse works. So now we got pretty much what the customer wanted. They wanted to be able to pull someone around in a little trailer. And for that it works. That, that dust you see there is because the blades are 
partially engaged there. The belt's not releasing. But, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to take that belt off, and now it's ready to go back and do its thing.